In this video, I'm gonna show you one of the most popular setups out of PA shot seams that we're seeing on the competitive circuit, why it is really one of the most difficult plays to stop in the entire game. And then I'm also gonna show you how you can make it even better uh, with a couple of, I just identifying where you are at on the field. Now this comes out of the tight offset tight end in the New Orleans Saints offensive playbook. And uh, we're gonna be taking a look at the play PA shot seams. It's one of the most versatile concepts in the game it has play action blocking which we know is the best blocking in the game uh in my opinion and uh let's get on the field and talk about this concept now again if you want to get my entire saints offensive ebook that's going to be linked down in the patreon the setup for this is actually relatively simple what we're going to do is we're going to drag our tight end we're going to slant our backside receiver so you see here this right here is a key key piece of this because it's going to make this so that this is essentially a flood from left left to right um, and and we're going to use motion snapping to make that slant really good against man now the next thing we're going to do is instead of utilizing this 10 yard out route that can easily be played by a you know a, a, a curl flat zone or whatever we're going to put this guy in a corner route a slot apprentice corner route and so what happens is because this corner route is so deep it's going to serve as the perfect pull route against zone which we'll get to in just a second and it's also going to give you several different pieces against man that are really hard to guard first and foremost you see here your corner route to the outside oftentimes is going to get separation uh real quick on that corner route i do have inside shade and medium route knockout on everybody but what you should see typically is you can actually do that and you can kind of ag back i need a possession catch that actually in that situation but you can throw these corner routes against man coverage religiously most people have figured that out at this point in the year um but try to throw that. Another thing that will actually happen a lot is this this uh, corner route will just get butt naked over the top. Like that corner that corner route is so good uh, at attacking man to man. I'll show you. Uh, we'll go to three three wide here uh, just to give you a different look of this. And this is a little bit more meta look in terms of what you're going to see right now defensively. But a lot oftentimes this route to uh, triangle here is super super open against man. So you see here again, you can also throw that if you freeform that down into the outside, hopefully you notice how that corner, he just kind of dumbed out on the sideline there. That happens a lot. That happens a ton. So there's a couple ways they're going to have to defend this. One of the ways I do actually think man coverage is best for this play, um, but there are some things they have to do. And if you can get really good at your free form on your uh, corners, it makes it really, really difficult. But one of the things that they can do to stop this um, is they can do something like like this where they're going to press you and then they're going to deep half this defender now again this will stop the deep corner route but it will not stop the outside corner um, that little short corner so they're gonna have to use that or they're gonna have to do some adjustments so what you'll see here they can't really put zones over there that's the thing um, so they're gonna have to kind of rely on that of man coverage or they're gonna have to I mean basically the best thing they can do is have a 30 yard cloud over here in, in, in some way shape or form the problem with that is it opens them up a lot to getting bombed out of this play um but they can do something like that so they have to have a cloud over there to guard it and then we talk about high lowing in the flat and then you have your backside slant and your backside drag so again i want to continue through the man coverage and we'll get into zone um but this play is the one of the best plays against zone in the game so anyways um rest of man cover so if that if the corners aren't there for you look at the slant it gets wide open over here on the right it's one of the best routes in madden i'm surprised that it took people so long to figure out that in this year's game backside slants are incredibly incredibly effective um they, they truly are one of the best routes in the game backside slants whenever you motion them out they just have such a high success rate it's one of the reasons why i believe that tight is definitely meta for a lot of reasons this is one of them because you can motion out receivers and motioning out receivers this year has has been much much more consistent than motioning across receivers for attacking man coverage so just kind of a little bit of a, a an inside tip there on this but let's get into zone so um what makes this play so good against zone is based on how they set up their zones there's going to be different things open so 
Um, and, and typically you almost always have something opening in zone. So what you have in this play here is typically, let's say if they're running like a cover four, if they're, if they're not pressing their cover four, your corner route should be wide open to the sideline every single time, as you can see right there. Now, if they press their cover four, and this is why I like to run this play to the wide side of the field, because it gives that corner a lot more space. If they are pressing their cover four, um, you have a couple things you're gonna have. So the main thing is this route to MVS over the top here. If I highball and freeform it up and I basically turn the route into a streak route, it's gonna be open. Now I still will probably have my corner route on the outside, but it just kind of depends on how the, the locomotion of the receivers honestly runs. But a lot of times what's gonna happen here, it's like, see right here, see how I can throw this and I can ag it before the KO touches me. That is that is one element of this that you have. The other element that you have, and if you have time in the pocket and um, you have a step, you can try to make this throw. It's a difficult throw to make, but if you have a good uh, freeform skill, you're gonna be pretty decent at this. So again, he's gonna cut out. I'm gonna turn that into an inside streak up the field, as you see right there. By freeforming and highballing it up into the inside uh, of that player, I give him a shot. Now again, just throw the corner out, the corner out's open, but there is potential for a massive play. And if they're running a lot of cover four like this, baseline press, there's other setups in the Saints playbook that are probably a little bit better. But there you see, there's that animation I was talking about. That's what I'm getting at right there. When you can do something like that, that makes that play just go really, really good against cover four. So what most people do if they're going to run cover four, if they're a really good player, they're going to play cover three on the wide side and cover four on the short side. That's my personal recommendation. I think that's the best way to play zone this year um but it doesn't foolproof it against this specific setup what you're going to notice here is this specific setup this corner route on the left free form down and outside and it's going to get open why because the third has to go guard that deep corner and this makes this a really good cover three beater now because they can't play cover three to rely on that third to guard that corner and so you have this setup right here where you see that corner route to Julian Edelman wide open. Now, when I throw that corner against zone, I do want to quickly say I typically don't freeform it. Okay, I typically don't freeform that corner, uh, and the main reason why is because it can cause a lot of problems. Um, it, it's it's you, you want that corner to just be a simple completion. You want to keep it as simple as possible, and that's the best way that I know how to do it. Okay, so cover four, or uh, I apologize, cover two, Mabel. Cover two, Mabel actually is probably the best strategy for defending this play, uh, but it doesn't leave other vulnerabilities. Okay, and I'll talk about that. So you see here, if they run cover two, Mabel, typically that corner route, you see that's not going to be open, but the deep corner actually even if they do have match on and if you run this from the short side of the field to the wide side of the field right so your your tight is your corner route is on the wide side of the field if you run it like this even if they back off these clouds um, this deep half oftentimes will have some trouble um, he will have some trouble kind of getting back so we'll show it to you again here so what you'll see and again, this is all about free form and high ball, but you see he gets that step on him, free form and high ball it up and over. A lot of times that's gonna be a dot over the top against cover two. So you have that option um, against cover two. So what this kind of all starts to build upon and build toward is them usering or them manning up that route right there. They're, they're gonna to need to man up that route and they're gonna to need to have a 30 yard cloud on that sideline. So when they do that, they're really limited in how they can defend and typically, either your drag or your slant is gonna be wide open over the middle of the field. This is one of the best plays in the game. One of the best plays in the game, maybe the best play uh, in the game with the way it breaks down man zone uh, as well as match. We didn't get to match today, but that's all in the ebook. Um, they, you, it's really difficult for them to run match against this specific tight set. Um, because that corner route is so, so good. So without further ado, guys, thanks for watching the video. And if you want to get my entire PA shot, or, um, sorry, uh, tight offset, tight end offensive ebook out of the Saints playbook, make sure that you become a Patreon member. It's only $10 to become a member, and it gets you access to all of our Man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks.